When we look at the globe or a map carefully, we can see horizontal and vertical lines on it. These lines are not actually drawn on the Earth's surface. They are imaginary lines drawn on the globe or a map. These imaginary horizontal lines are called latitudes and the vertical lines are called longitudes. These two sets of lines intersect each other to form a network of lines over the globe or a map which is known as a grid. This grid helps us to locate places on the earth. So if we know the latitude and longitude of a particular place, then the exact point where these two lines intersect each other is the location of the place on the earth. The latitude and longitude of a place are called the coordinates. The most important line of latitude is the equator. It divides the earth into two equal halves. The upper half is called the northern hemisphere and the lower half is known as the southern hemisphere. Let us learn about some of the characteristics of these latitudes. The equator is the longest latitude and therefore is also called the great circle. The other lines of latitude are also circles running parallel to each other. That is why these lines are also known as parallels of latitude they never intersect each other the length of the latitudes decrease as we move farther away from the equator towards the poles the latitudes are numbered from 0 to 90 degrees the equator is at 0 degree and the degree of other latitudes keep increasing as we move towards the poles the north and south poles are at 90 degree latitude which are just shown as points on the map. Apart from the equator, there are 180 parallels of latitude. Here is a picture which shows the five important parallels of latitude. Beginning with the equator at 0 degree, Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degree north, Arctic Circle at 66 and a half degree north. For the south, we see the Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and a half degree south and the Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degree south. Next we move to the meridians of longitude. The vertical lines on the globe are called the meridians of longitudes. These imaginary lines run from the North Pole to the South Pole crossing the parallels of latitudes. The important longitudes are the prime meridian at 0 degree and the international date line at 180 degrees. Let us learn about some of the characteristics of the meridians of longitudes. Number 1. All longitudes meet at the poles and are of equal length. The distance between lines of longitude varies as they are farthest away from each other at the equator and they meet at the poles. The prime meridian is the zero degree longitude that passes through the Royal Observatory at Greenwich near London. It is considered to be the starting point of longitudes. The time of any place is calculated with the reference to the prime meridian. The time at the prime meridian is known as Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. The international date line lies opposite to the prime meridian at 180 degree longitude. The prime meridian along with the international date line together divide the earth into two equal halves, the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. The international date line separates two calendar dates. Regions lying in the eastern hemisphere are one day ahead of the places situated in the western hemisphere.